Hi there, my name is Bailey Boyd and I'm a customer success manager here at SmartLink. And today I'm gonna to show you how to enhance translation quality by adding visual context to your translation strings. In the case of mobile application or resource files, visual context as it would appear on a user's device is not generated automatically. And this is where adding context manually will come in handy. The first thing that you're going to want to do is take a screenshot of the strings that you need to associate with visual context, and then you'll want to upload those to SmartLink, and here's how you'll do so. When you log into SmartLink, navigate to the project that houses your strings that you need to assign visual context to. You'll click on this context tab and then click here where it says image context. This is going to bring you to a page that will show you all of the existing visual context in that project. And to add your new image, you can either drag and drop, or if you're old school like me, you click on upload files, search for 13 hours for the file you need to upload, and then add that to your environment. You can upload up to 100 files at a time, and the more that you upload, of course, the longer it will take. But once those are done processing, you can click into the image and see if the OCR or optical character recognition tool has identified all the strings in the image for translation. In this example, you can see that it has done so. And to verify that these strings are accurate, you can actually click into the, this box here, verify that the text is accurate. If it's not, you can actually enter the string and this will correct the source string for you. If for some reason the OCR tool has not picked up some of the text in your image, you can drag and drop your cursor on the screen to capture that section and create a new source string. And that again will create a new source string that has visual context from this image already applied. Once you've verified all that is good to go, you'll just click done. And then you'll be able to request your translation and it will have that video context automatically. There's another way that you can assign visual context manually using the strings view. And the way that this will be done is in your project, instead of going to context, you go to strings here. You'll then want to search for the content in your environment that you want to associate with your strings. So in this case, you've uploaded your source file first and you're adding manual context after the fact. I'm going to search for source language only. And I'm going to look for my file titled demo. And to assign visual context manually, very simple, select the strings, click the actions drop down, go to add context, upload the file. It'll be the exact one we saw previously. Click add context and boom, that's been automatically added. This is a really great tool to ensure that linguists have all of the tools that they need to create quality translations, help them create formatting decisions, um, as well as make sure that everything is visually appealing as they're doing their translations. We have some additional resources in our help center here at this link. And if you have any questions, you can always reach out to our team and we're happy to help. Have a great day.